Hey guys, we're at the Indo Expo here at um, the, Denver De Mart. the Denver Mart in Colorado, and we have with us uh, right now Josh Kincaid from Seattle Super Chronics. Now, Josh can speak to a lot of things. Uh, he works with the finance, um, finance product division, uh, product development, and uh, distribution things like that, which is a huge part uh, in the cannabis world. Uh, but what I want to find out right now, real quickly, is tell us some of the challenges that, let me make sure I'm not covering up the mic. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Tell us about some of the challenges that, the, that are in the industry when it comes to finance. I think the biggest challenge that people know about already is banking. Uh, it's cash only. So 280E is a, <clears throat> an accounting issue. Um, so pipes and everything are taxed at a higher rate if it's in a retail shop. So they're paying for two retail shops side by side, one that is accessories and one that's cannabis in order to avoid the higher tax on cannabis. And then when you have your cash, where are you going to put it? So banking is an issue. And then beyond that, sales and distribution is challenging when you have an amazing product if you can't have financing. right? So automation is, in, is, is big. It's the trend, but you can't get financing on a five hundred thousand dollar machine if you don't have collateral. So finance is big; it kind of makes the world go around, and it's a hindrance. There's roadblocks. Yeah. So if if someone's trying to scale up, they need someone who has experience and and, and knows how to get around the, the hurdles on that. Right. Just from my experience over the last four years, I've seen people do crazy stuff like incorporate in Canada, license their IP back to the state so that they can do marketing and advertising as a way to get around. Um, being on billboards, for example, or a bus. Um, and so, again, I've seen really top quality products that have won uh, a few more prestigious ones that the consumer like for Vegas, for example. And you, you can have an amazing product, but if you have that, that distribution channel to be able to sell if you don't have the staff behind it, if you don't have the financing, the capital, the payroll, the line of credit to make all of that work, uh, that's an issue. Yeah. You have stacks of cash, but how are you going to pay your people? How are you gonna, uh, it, it's just a, a difficult industry to not have finance behind your back. And so how long have you been working in the industry? I've been in the cannabis industry four years. I left my job as a, a stockbroker about four years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I managed... Uh, of $650 million and saw cannabis coming through and so the the high regulatory environment that comes from banking and finance is clutch for this industry for people that don't understand compliance. It's a big deal if you don't understand that rules will change every every day and if you're not prepared for them, you won't be in business. If you need automation, people that are rolling joints, for example, by hand, you're not going to be in the industry very long if you can't afford even a future roll is not box at uh, $500. Right. And that's not even an automated commercial product mm -hmm. that should be in somebody's house. Mm -hmm. And so there are other units like the rocket box that'll do much more units. And by the way, joints are number one sold unit concentrates are number two. And if you don't have a sales team and a distribution team, and if you can't market and advertise, and if you can't properly fund your organization, then you're not going to operate your own. Right, right. For sure. So there's business intelligence, there's sites that you need to know, uh, flavor preferences, inventory control, mm -hmm. all of those things require money. And if you can't pay your people, if you can't finance your operations, I've seen million dollar operations that haven't produced a gram of flour. And so you really need to have your finance and operations solid and know where and how to sell your products. If you don't have that distribution channel, uh, you're going to be out of the water. Yeah. So, um, where can people get information um, about what, about uh, Seattle Super Products? Well, you can email me at josh at Seattle Super Chronic Cafe. You can also check out the Rocket Box at STM or Sesh Technology Machines. Okay, and we will put your information in the post here. And we thank you so much, and hopefully we'll get you on for a full episode sometime. Thank you. Good luck. Bye. Okay, guys, that's where we are. Still standing in line. Bye.